Rocky C. What's up, man? So much. Oh, man, no problem. Oh, are you rocking those? Oh, you rocking it, bro. You rocking it. Love it. Tonight is Wednesday. Love it, man. All right. Man, you enjoying your... Your stuff, huh? Yeah, it was awesome. Pretty, I, 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 I was, I was sort of, um, I was sort of relaxed. Man. Cool, man. Awesome, relaxed. love it. You rep, you freshen up. Yeah. Take a shower. Awesome. Yeah, I did. How's your, stuff, how did your drive go? Not bad, not Rolling. bad. Thanks, bro. Rolling, rolling, bro. In the winds. His name is Issei Robles. The way I stumbled upon him was quite tragic, actually. Um, really sad. I found him today at a protest in Pacifica, California, a Black Lives Matter protest, um, protest about equality, police brutality, and uh, there was a lot of people here in Pacifica. People were saying that it was probably one of the biggest protests in Pacifica's history, one of the biggest gatherings ever in Pacifica's history. And I marched alongside probably thousands of people. And it was it was a really proud moment, you know, the chanting and the the raising your fist or the giving the peace sign and there was so much unity. And there was quite a few white people there. Honestly, there was a lot of white people. Actually just mostly just white people. It was a beautiful thing to, to watch. Because, you know, I honestly didn't think it was going to be such a great turnout because Pacifica is dominantly white. So I didn't expect to see so much support. And um, it was all beautiful, but here's, here's where it gets tragic is everyone was marching and the march finished. Everyone started walking home. And um, we got there late, so we were at the very, very back of the line. We are just way back there. And we were kind of just running to catch up with everyone. And we came by this young man who was sitting in front of his car that I would soon learn that is actually uh, known as the cheese car. Um, I saw this young man just sitting at the, at the front of the car just with his head hanging he looked sad and I saw the car and the car had some kind of insulation all over it and I thought his car had gotten vandalized because it even said Lynch on on the side of the car and there was some other spray painted stuff and then there was the spray foam all over it and I was really pissed off because I had thought someone in our town had vandalized his car. So I approached him and I asked him, hey, are you all right, man? What's going on? Like, who, who did this to your car? What's, what's happening? It became almost immediately clear to me that um, he, was, he was struggling with a lot of things. And um, I realized also quickly uh, that there was no vandalism. Actually, he put insulation all over his car to stay warm. And that hurt me in a whole nother way. That hit me so hard. And I just screamed out into the air, what is all of this about? We're just wasting our time here, walking right past an African American gentleman saying Black Lives Matter we need equality, calling out people, people who have privilege, and there's a homeless black man sitting on the floor that no one even stopped to ask if he was okay. That was just, that was just so wrong. That, that pissed me off to a whole nother level. Cheese car. <sighs> Quick walk around. So 
so I felt the responsibility to do something in that moment because I had talked the talk, but it was time to walk the walk. So I stopped and I, and I asked him, what's going on? Like, what are you doing here? Um, I, I, well, where are your parents? Who are you? And he, he would, you know, kind of tell me little by little who he was and what he was doing there. I found out soon that he actually had lost his keys. Um, he misplaced them. And you'll, you'll hear him ex talk about that later uh, in the video. But I felt like I, I needed to help him. I needed to do something. So he told me he had a plan uh, because he had actually lost his keys before. We just go to the dealership, buy the key, uh, program the key, and he's good to go. He already had the papers, uh, proof, of, proof of ownership ready to go. Um, and I'm really proud of him for that. He had everything in order. He had his driver's license, everything all set. So uh, off we went to the dealership. Long story short, it didn't work out. Um, it's really expensive, and that's not the problem, actually. He, um, Issei actually uh, receives checks, uh, disability checks, so he, he's, able to, um, he's able to keep himself afloat. Um, but at the end of the day, we couldn't, we couldn't get the key that, um, in that instance. Um, and we found that the, the easiest route would be to call a mobile locksmith on Monday and have the locksmith program the key and everything. And the reason for Monday is because it's the weekend right now and the weekend is, it's way too expensive. So, uh, we, we thought that that was the best choice. And actually, my, my sister-in-law was able to get him two nights at a motel. And that's where he's at right now at this moment. Um, he's at a motel. He seemed totally fine with it. Everything was totally okay. I made sure that I asked him for permission for everything before I did it. I made sure he was okay with everything that I did. I asked him for permission to record. I asked him for permission to take him to a motel. Um, uh, I made sure I was checking in on him every once in a while, asking him, are you okay? How are you doing? Are you all right? Is everything okay? And, and the whole time he seemed completely fine. And actually he was having quite a bit of fun, which is, is really fun, really cool. Um, I was really happy to put a, put a smile on his face. So here we are um, in this situation and um, pretty much got you caught up. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what was going on. Um, but basically, um, we had checked him into the hotel, sorry, the motel, and um, he took a shower, got himself all cleaned up. I went home, got myself cleaned up. Then I went to go pick him up. We went back to his car because um, it couldn't stay there. It couldn't stay there overnight. It was going to get towed. So we had to move it from there to a safe location. And I knew exactly where to take it. So we took it to a safe location. Um, I took him back to his hotel. There was a lot that happened between there, but uh, you're about to see. So enjoy. Absolutely. All right, so um, I want to make a YouTube video. Yeah. Do you want to do one? Anything All right, cool. So I'll start recording, yeah. and we'll make a YouTube video. Sounds good? That would have been like a, like a, like a rap thing. That would have been good for like our little rap session. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, we'll just record our, our uh, little interactions here and everything we're doing. So what's the next plan? You're going to... You ready to go? You're gonna go. Do you in your onesies? Want to record all the work? Or you yeah. Well, I'll, either one. Yeah, I can. Either one. Do you want to record? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Sure, we can get on. All right. Do you need anything else here? Nah. Good. Let's head out. Also, some people have asked about who I am and what I do. Um, well, as you know already, my name is Harold Escalante. Alexander is actually my middle name. Um, I am a videographer, photographer, uh, media coordinator, uh, communications coordinator. Um, I just work from home. 
I actually work for two different churches and I, uh, I do weddings and uh, photo shoots. And if you're wondering uh, what, what brought me to do this, why do I do this, why go out of my ways? Because, well, that's how I was raised. Um, I was raised to do that. Uh, my mother taught me from a young age to always help the homeless, to help people in need. She told, always told me that it was, it was my, my calling, my responsibility to help those in need. And um, where does that come from? Well, we're Christian. I, I grew up in a Christian household. My entire family is Christian. We believe in God. We believe in helping those in need. That's our that's our responsibility for this earth. It's not just to pray for people, but to actually help people. And that's what most Christians actually do believe. And this this whole video is, you know, just a show. But honestly, everything that you have seen would have happened anyways, whether it was recorded or not. The only reason you are able to see what happened is because you asked for it. There was people asking what was going on, where's where's Issei, is everything okay? Some people actually even thought that I had kidnapped him. Um, so I, I just wanted to create videos to inform you guys and to let you know that he's okay. Um, this is all for you. This isn't for me. I I could care less about the attention I, I don't do this for the follows or for the likes or for the attention. As a matter of fact, if once this is over, I'm right back to, you know, my, my own life. And I'm going to go back to doing what I do. And even if that means helping another man behind the camera, behind closed doors, that's fine. That's what I do. You're honestly rocking those onesies, bro. It looks so awesome. Love it. <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, I've lived in I've lived in Pacifica my whole life. I've been there forever. I remember my substitute teachers. They all surfed, and uh, one of them one of them got attacked by a shark, and you can see the mark, his bite mark on his chest. It's really cool. He was one of the coolest substitute teachers we had. But all the teachers, actually all the teachers would surf. Everyone would go surfing after school. The beach was right across the street, so everyone would go to the beach and have fun down there. It's a miracle I didn't pick up skating and I never learned how to surf. But I'm one of the odd ones that never learned how to surf or how to skate. Um, what about you? What about yourself? I, I for one, you know, I for one, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for, um, the, um, the only thing I ever got to do was, um, running, you know, I only ever got to run, got to run across, and I got to run track, sure got to run a lot, but hey, you know, that's the thing about running. Yeah, I heard you ran track, and oh, you did really fun. well, huh? It was really fun, I didn't do as, um, as crap, crappy as I thought. But hey, you know, honestly, for me, for me, it was freedom. Why? Because home was pretty awful. School was a lot of fun. And but the kids were um, super, 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 um, what do you call it, fragile. <laughs> and then um, after that, um, home was pretty dysfunctional. The kids at school were very fragile. What was home like? What, what did you live with? Um, I lived with my family. in the moments, man. I wasn't really paying any attention because there was a lot of times when I couldn't pay attention to anything I wanted to pay attention to. So I kind of just used that feeling to tune out the things that I didn't like. So you, uh, your parents, they're, they're not in, they're not in Africa, right? They're still in no. Ohio. No, they're, they're, they are, yeah, 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 yeah. They're still in Ohio. Yep. Okay. And so Honestly, um, honestly, I would say. 
most people didn't give me enough of a chance to um, take a turn. Most, get, most people didn't give me enough of a chance to um, catch my breath before they, uh, before they uh, I guess, um, you know, guys that got into it with me. You know? But um, I was thankful for most of it because, hey, you know, it made me the person that I, uh, I, 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 I would ask uh, others to be, you know. So I learned how to talk. So I'm going to ask you straight. Did they kick you out? Um, yeah. They kicked you out. Yeah. Why, did they kick, why did they kick you out? Because, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not her favorite. Oh. You also, guys didn't get it, was pretty, it was pretty bad. Bro. It was pretty bad. So, um, you know. Did you know, did she know about your, your, your cancer situation? Um, that's the thing. She did. Uh, actually, no, we, all, we all found out at the same time. Huh? We all found out at the same time, and uh, what we all found out at the same time, that's when we all, um, what's it called, you know, that's when um, we all found out at the same time, and that's when the family dysfunction kind of, uh, you know, unraveled. Seriously, yeah. Like, um, they, they straight up wanted me to die. So I was like, uh, you know, they wanted you to die. Yeah, this is like the moment where, like, you kind of root. For your kid, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't just like uh, throw people away like that. But honestly, um, they did throw me away. So after that, I was like, uh, wow, you know, I'm dying right here, and you guys have straight up um, abandoned and attacked me as I was dying. So I was like, wow. Your family abandoned you, and you were dying. Yeah. And then after that, I was like, and honestly, at this point, I know that. Honestly, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing that's uh, holding me back anymore. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go have fun. I'm gonna go meet, uh, meet, uh, meet death. I'm gonna go meet sadness and happiness, brokenness, all the people and all of this tragic stuff. And I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take all of it and take it with me. That's what I did, man. I took all the sadness. All the miserable stuff and I took it with me. I took my robbed death. I robbed death and I came out the other side with a rough. My God, I was not dead. So, uh, the facial cancer, what kind of what kind of effects has it had on you? Um, well, a few a few months after the uh, the face cancer, honestly, uh, the face cancer was a was was a was a it's a hot spot. Um, the hot spot of like, um, um, oh yeah, my voice, uh, my voice definitely did not uh, work. Um, <laughs> it stressed out my voice to the point where my voice was not really uh, catching any air. Yeah, right there, catching any air, 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 air. It sounds like an airplane is flying into my face. Huh. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of sick. Okay. Um, after that, um, after that, you know, um, um, I, I survived, and after surviving, I, um, I was very graceful, I was, I was very grateful, and I, after that, you know, nothing could touch me after that, because I, 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 I did all of it, you know? I was born, I was loved, I was, I was unloved, I was alive, and I was undead, you know? I was thinking, what what if we use the GoFund the GoFundMe money 
for a trailer. I would, and I you can would, live right here in Pacifica. I would love you for all. In this beautiful, beautiful city. Seriously, it's like, a, it's, city. like a, it's like a living cloud. It's like a living, amazing cloud. Wonder and sunshine. And so much beginning. Every way. It's so gorgeous. And honestly, it's so lovely. And truly the most beautiful life I could possibly have. If you guys would let me, I would love you. Excellent. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start a GoFundMe page. I'm going to open it up tonight. We're going to try to raise you some money so you can get yourself a trailer. Thank you. Live out here. And um, it would be nice if you stayed here. I will. Stayed here in Pacifica also. This is like sunshine. There's a lot of sun here, huh? This is so beautiful. Almost as close as you can get to Hawaii. It's possible without crossing the ocean. <laughs> not really, not not really, but kind of. You know, I like to say that to myself, you know, just to if I'm feeling a little gloomy, I just tell myself, you know, we live in basically living in Hawaii. <laughs> not really. Oh yeah, it's a gorgeous city. I love it, it here. Is, it is amazing. All right, so we're almost to the car. And um, almost there. Actually, kind of like a radio thing. It's, it's at this point it's a podcast. But um, let, let me just tell you, you know, when I was young, I, I had to, um, I had to do a lot by myself. You know, I mean, I was taken care of, but I, I honestly, um, I was, I was, um, I was in a, I was in a, I was in a country. That I've had been, um, you know, severely, um, severely um, excavated, right? So, if you guys know anything about mining operations, mining operations start off with, um, like, a, like, a, where they clear the land, and basically, you know, um, clearing the land really means um, anything that's alive um, or anything that lives there kind of has to um, um, go away. And um, you know that's that's what happened to us. You know, we we, we had um, we had to go away. You know, God bless. You know? We had to go away because um, there was a mining operation coming to town. And when the mining operation came through, you know, we, we, we all we all we all felt the emptiness. And when we felt the emptiness, that's when um, that's when um, you know, that's when we um started to um, that's when we started to um, you know um. That's when we started to um, um, look at each other for um, for an, for a lot of things like um, like um, like um, like for, like um, entertainment. You know, we didn't have enough TVs, we didn't have enough radios, we didn't have a, enough fun. You know, and um, we started to have fun. We started to have fun, and um, the fun that um, the fun that we honestly um, had was. Um, a lot of storytelling, and that's why I'm the person that I am, you know, because I'm, 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 I come from a place where we, um, we, um, all we have is stories, you know, so we just tell stories all the time, and, um, that's, that's gotten me to about 900 TikToks, and, um, you know, if it's, if it's, if it's worth anything, you know, um, if it's worth anything, um, imagine all the, um, all the Facebook posts, um, you've, you've made, and I'm pretty sure I've um, I've um, I've got a lot of competition, you know. But um, I'll tell you what, you know, I'm a lot slower than you guys, and uh, 900 is pretty good for me. That's 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 what I love about um, storytelling, you know. It's entertaining. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your car to this street where everyone parks their uh, trailers. Oh, wow. Okay? So it's like this whole strip where that's like, you're you're, you're good to park there. Okay. And police won't give you a ticket, you're good there. So we're gonna take your car there, and that's, I'm sure it'll be safe there. No one's gonna touch it. And um, we'll move on to the next step from there. Which is so something that everyone talks about, everyone, every single one of your followers is concerned about is, uh, the fact that your car has insulation in it, it's really concerning for everyone. And everyone actually, uh, it's concerned for your health. Really? 
you know, because uh, that insulation, if you know, breathe it in, it's not good for you. You know, it's, it it can cause it can cause lung cancer. So I know you were talking about branding and and um, and you really love the cheese car. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. But um, you know, I'm hoping that when you get your trailer, you can live in there. And hopefully, maybe not use the car. I mean, a possibility. It's it's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful car. It's a, it's a love truck. I mean, I'll tell you what, you know, when we get there, you can. It's, it's amazing how um, um, it's amazing how um, you know, um, how long, you know. But I mean, this car is um, this car is going through a lot right now, and um, I think um. I think I'm, um, you know, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for a lot of um, money and see if we can get something going, you know. It's, I mean, Gene's car is my, is my, is my dream, and I don't know, man. Taking, taking, taking the dream is, um, everyone, is waking up. You know? I think you should, you should know, man. Um, everyone loves you. Everybody loves you, and um, everyone really cares about you. Thank you. All your followers love you so much, and more than anything, they care about your health. You know, I care about you, man. I, I love you, man. You're finally the first person that I've seen that um, has actually like, um, like benefited from what I've done. Because I don't see anyone that has actually benefited from all the work that I've done. So finally, I'm thankful to see one person that has actually benefited from the stuff that I did. So I'm, I'm, that's all I have. But cheese car, cheese car is like very tender, and so I'm. I understand, yeah. So if, you know, we can, cheese car can stick around. It's not cheese, a problem. Thank you. Cheese yeah. car is like very. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking right there. Um, cheese car is like very tender, and. Um, absolutely. Yeah, I, I understand. I love cheese car. Okay, so we'll move cheese car over, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and call the uh, AAA and. We'll see what we do from there. I mean, you know, honestly, if you want, we could um, just push it to the um, put it in neutral and push it. No, no, I think it, it would be easier. It's it, I have AAA. And yeah. It's it's free. Yeah, we don't have to pay anything. So they'll just tow it over to Pacifica, yeah. and then we'll take you back to your hotel room, and then thank you. So much. And then we'll we'll keep talking. Wow. Right. Thank you so much. Someone graffitied on it over there. Yeah. You wanna go yeah. check it out? Yeah. Someone graffiti on the car. You should, uh, you should check to see, make sure all your stuff is still there. Make sure all your stuff is still there. There is the legendary cheese cup. Um, has been um, um, the love of my life, and I've lost the key to the cheese car three times. Three times? Three times. And I tell you, you know, every time I lost the key to the cheese car, it just felt like the key just disappeared, you know? Huh. Because I tell you, every single time, every single time, it felt like that moment just didn't happen.
I huh. don't understand. Just three times. And um, there's something about that, that, that key, and the, 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 the Volkswagen key. It just seems like it, it literally just um, finished. And I, I, um, I don't know how. Um, um, now, I'm, now I'm at the point where I'm, like, um, T's car is very much um, in, 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 you know, in your hands. And, um, you know, I mean, um, T's car is a loss of, um, T's car is a lot of life for me. And T's car, um, this is, a uh, very, Complicated, complicated issue. Um, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to tell about the condition. Um, he understands everything I tell him. He knows everything. He understands everything. He reads all of you guys' comments. He, he He's told me specifically about um, things that you guys have commented. He reads them all. Um, and he's very aware. He's aware. But he doesn't want to accept um, the situation. And it's it's really hard to watch because my grandmother um, had the same situation. It was hard to watch, and he's following the same patterns. Tow truck driver's here. Gonna take the car. Hey guys, so this is my wife. This is Gabby. She actually paid for the two nights at the motel. And uh, the car's over there, and we're gonna get ready to get it out of here. So, what do you think, man? You're towing your car to the new location? Yeah, I've never seen the car from that perspective. <laughs> new perspective, huh? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, we got the tow truck following us. We are on our way to the street where we can actually leave the car. What do you think about that? I was saved today by, by a herald at Alexander. Ah, you're too kind, man. You're too kind. You are an amazing person yourself. You are amazing. Isn't he amazing, guys? You guys are gods. This, this is... All because of your followers. You realize that, right? I finally see that there's like, you know, so much. It's because of your TikTok, man. All your all your TikTok followers. You gotta you gotta shout them out, man. You gotta say something to I, them. I'm I'm so thankful for you guys. You guys should go into um I promise, you know, you guys are going to um um have the best best time for all your time. I promise you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are so kind, and one out of two twenty-four thousand people actually will stay. And um, honestly, um, I was saved, and I've never been been saved in my entire life. Today I was saved.
Oh. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm shy. I want to know what happened. No, it's not what happened. It's uh, actually a gentleman that I haven't... Is getting help right now and everything? I am the only one helping him. Do you, can we be here to help you? Do you know him? Or do I don't. You need... I have him in my car right now. If you guys want him, maybe yeah, come around. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. No dropping it off. Uh, no, they're they're dropping it off here because um, he was actually stuck in um, in um, Rockaway Beach. Okay. And uh, that's actually my wife over there. Okay. Oh, okay. And oh, so yeah, sister. we should get. I didn't think about. Not so see, deep. it goes, and that's the other thing. I mean, with everything going on right now, one of the things is like. We don't have a department for this. Yeah. We don't have the. This is exactly the kind of thing. Do, what if we just call like Kaiser or any kind of hospital? We're gonna the call, other, tell us to call the police. Yeah. The other issue is that he Hi. he, he just, doesn't. Yeah. Um, they're just these. I was just stopped to ask. I'm just gonna they, call. I'm just gonna call Pacific like uh, Police. I mean, yeah. that's just what's gonna end up. Well, happening the problem anyway. is he's. Uh, I don't think that's a great idea. No, I know. No, no. It's alright. We we actually have um, we got him two nights at a hotel. I don't tell right now. So he's 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 okay right now. No, I've never That's never met him. I found him. So here's what happened. I'll tell you guys the whole story. So we we were at I'm the. I'm gonna do research while you say that. Yeah, yeah. We were at the call. we were at the march, the the Black Lives Matter march. Uh -huh. We saw this. So I mean, we just tried our best to help him out for today. And, yeah, you guys are heroes. And we're like, trying to yeah, we're trying to figure out what I, I've been recording no, everything yeah. going on because people there's actually people constantly telling me like, hey, update me. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let me know what's happening. Hi buddy, how you doing? Oh hey, what's up man? Yeah, absolutely. We, we pulled over to help you, to, just to help. I mean, I'm glad that, that he's helping get a place for you and everything. Oh, one second, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, thanks. Uh -huh. He doesn't, he's no. never been on meds uh, or anything? No. Okay, you guys already, you already asked him, so? Yeah, I asked okay. him, yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. So we, there are mental health clinics that are free and things like that. I don't know where. Uh -huh. I mean, we'd always have to do a little bit more research. Um, and then I told her, like, I don't, we don't want to involve law enforcement because it's not a dangerous situation. It's just, yeah. like, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Um, And so she said, like, in the next hour, if I, if you want me to give you the number, she's the local, like, do you have a 650 or a 415? 650. Cool. Yeah, so if you call the 800 number, it'll reroute to her. Oh, perfect. So if you want a person to talk to her, and then I said, um, we'll call back. I don't know if he wants to talk to her because then, like, she's going to know the more better questions to ask. And it's really just making sure that there's a plan. Like, she yeah. doesn't feel like there's anything right now that needs to be like, oh, my God, right now we need to, like, go do something, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Just mm -hmm. making sure that tomorrow there's a plan and sustainable. Like, obviously, like, you're fantastic. We're fantastic. But we're not going to be able to be here for the next 72 hours. Yeah. Like, it's just not... It's just not happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't mean to say we're fantastic. That sounded good. <laughs> Assholey. I just meant like yeah, it's great that we're doing this, but he, he how can we make sure that this is solution. exactly? Said, I'm, oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. No. I told your husband actually. You I'm, absolutely. I'm keeping. He's. I don't know if you heard me say this, but he has a huge TikTok yeah. following. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's, yeah. They're, they're actually. Have you been? Or, I mean, I don't care, but. Oh yeah, let's, yeah, awesome! Let's you guys it. are so amazing. You guys are so amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> you guys are, Pizza. you guys are awesome. Pizza. Dig in, hey, man. You Dig in. Thank you so much, guys. Wow, that's ironic. Hey, dig in. Don't don't wait for me, man. Just dig in. Wow, man. Thanks. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have napkins or anything? Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Do you want do you want a plate or napkins? All right, he's gonna. We don't have him. We'll go grab him in a second. One second. Yeah, of course, of course. We're here for you, man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I just... And, like, so I got into a big, big, big argument with my parents because my parents were, like, they're, they're big Trump supporters, big... Uh, but then they tell me, like, oh, education's so important. I'm, I'm an elementary school teacher. I was a bit earlier. Oh, okay. Like, oh, wow. oh, education's so important. If only there was something we can do. And I'm like, if only... There's something you can if do. If only there's something you can do. <laughs> if only there's something you can do. Yeah. And it's just like, mm -hmm. I was talking to them yesterday, and he's like, how can you get rid of the police? And there's no way that you can you can get rid of them. And people want to get rid of them. And the mayor said they want to get rid of them. And I asked my dad, I said, did you look, did you do one Google search? Did you do one, besides listen to the news, which is cool, regardless of whatever news station you Exactly. Listen, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. One minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they said, did, no, 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 no. Did you take one minute of your time to look up anything? Well, the mayor said that... Did you take one minute to look up anything? And it's like, even I didn't know. I didn't know what uh, 
quality immunity was before. Do you know what that is? I don't know what that is. No. That's how it fucking happened. What did the police say about that 75 year old man that they pushed over that he tripped? He fucking pushed him over, he bled from his ears. Yeah, they said and he then they, tripped. There was a one police officer that was gonna go over and pick him up. Another officer went, no, step back. Yep. And the guy is saying he's bleeding from his ears. Yep. So when there's video evidence, it still doesn't help. It still doesn't matter. And we need to take away the symptom. Not take, not take away the fucking symptom, take away the problem. Take away the roots. Don't cut off the tree. The tree's gonna grow back. The limbs are gonna grow back. The trees are gonna grow back. We see it every fucking year. 1938, there was a civil rights movement for police brutality. 1965, Birmingham, Alabama. 1967, fucking 1999 in New York City. It happens every decade, every year, all the time. Thousands and thousands and thousands are killed. We go out, we say something, and then nothing fucking changes. And the changes that come is a video camera on a police officer that don't even fucking turn on half the time. What happened with Breonna Taylor? Why is there no video cam footage of Breonna Taylor's murder? Why? They say, oh, her boyfriend, who wasn't, maybe not there, shot at us. So we saw her while she was sleeping in her bed with a no-knock warrant. That's fucking fucked up. Body cam footage doesn't matter. Why, why can police in Redwood City have fucking riot gear and I can't have books for my kids? Issei has you guys to thank for informing me and for watching out for him and uh, just caring for him. He loves you guys so much, more than you know, more than you know. Keep, keep shouting out that love, keep commenting that love to him. He, he hears you, he knows, he hears you out.